In this episode, we start heading west from Colorado back toward California across some very desolate desert areas. We experience incredible weather, we see some unique creatures, and we find some very isolated campsites. Come with us and enjoy this journey across the western half of the United States. stopped on the side of the road because it was absolutely crazy storms happening. Something really uh, energizing about being in a storm. Man, <laughs> it was crazy. As we drove back across Utah, I found a huge playa that just looked so interesting. We had to veer off of Highway 50 and try and get to the middle of this huge playa. We found out later it was in the King Tops Wilderness Area. I've been able to find very little information about this area, but it is a conservatory-owned area in Utah, very remote and it's surrounded by warning signs about dust storms and high winds. Well, with all the storms in the area, we certainly hit that. We went out to the middle of this playa. It was fantastic with all the wind and dust rising around us, and then it began to get very windy. I could barely get the drone back to the van. After we got the drone squared away, the winds kicked up to probably 50 miles an hour across the playa. We got off the playa because we didn't want to get stuck out there in the mud in case it rained too hard. We headed straight off the playa a good distance away and took some of these videos showing the storm come in and some of the winds that hit right where we were just a few minutes earlier. What an incredible place. I highly advise that you be careful out there, but please check out the King Top Wilderness Study Area. Located in southern Utah, near Delta, Utah. After getting off the playa, there were several other waves of dust storms coming onto the road ahead of us. So we navigated it as best we could. We had to drive right into them and through them. It's really an eerie experience to come across the road knowing you're going to hit a dust storm. We continue to drive down the road after the dust storms near Area 51 and we're able to find a small creature that I haven't seen since I was a child. No, it's actually a lizard. Oh, a lizard? Did it, 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 it bite you? No. Are you Can filming? I, yes. Can I touch it? I just don't want it to jump. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Are you going to keep it? Mm -mm. No. Poor thing. Look at the colors on the back. I know. It's beautiful. Is it like... You're not going to see. It almost looks like a sand. Yeah. I'm going to go let him go. What they, what they call a horned toad. Horned toad. But it's a lizard. Oh, it's a lizard, but it looks like a frog, honey, huh? It is. Look. Wow. I haven't seen one since I was a kid. I we never... used to catch these as a kid in the south. I don't even know why they're... Well, they're a desert animal. I, don't I never know. see it over here. But I love the, the spines think? behind its back. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> feel weird. Look like cactus. Oh. The horned toad is actually a horned lizard, and its territory is from Idaho all the way down to Mexico, 
predominantly in the southwest. It's got these spikes in the back of its cranium that it uses for defense and it looks pretty badass. It reminds me of a Triceratops dinosaur. Well, these gentle creatures are lizards and one of their defense features is to run into a bush, but if cornered and really thought to be in danger, they actually leak blood from their eyes to tell their predators that they're dead. And this somehow keeps the uh, predator away. It's a beautiful dinosaur, is what it truly is. It was great to see one and let it go. Look how camouflaged this thing is. That was cool. deserts in Utah and Nevada are beautiful. We spent the night and got up the next morning to find an area that is very little known for petroglyphs and cool. then on to the Sierra Nevadas to climb up to a mountain lake that we had never been before. Come with us on this journey and rest away back to California across the United States. And we hope to see you soon on the road Keith and We Adventures. Much about fitting in.